Hi everyone. So today in this video, we are going to talk about analog electronics, analog electronics for gate. So a lot of you guys have been saying that, uh, sir, analog electronics, you find it very difficult. How do, how can we cover th uh, this part very efficiently and in a very less time? So we are going to talk about everything. What do they actually, actually ask? Branch wise, we will talk. Also, we will tell how much uh, marks uh, you can score in analog electronics. Then I will also show you from where they have framed the question. I will show you the question and I will show you the resource as well from where they have framed the question in the last. Okay. So everything I will tell you from where you need to practice every single thing that will be that is necessary for analog electronics that will be covered because it is a tough subject that I know and many people find it difficult. So after this video, you will have a very clear idea of how you can approach analog electronics. Okay. So first let's start, start about electrical. So in electrical, it will be asked for four to five marks. Okay. And uh, it is not that important for electrical students. Electrical students can spend lesser time on analog electronics and they can spend more time on their core subjects. So I would say it is not that important for electrical student. I'm not saying it is not important at all, but it is not that important. It will be mostly asked for four to five marks, not more than that, not more than four to five marks. It is the certain trend that is being followed. Anything can, can happen anytime, but 99% chance are there that it will be marks asked for four to five marks only. Okay. 1% probability can any, anyhow will be there. Okay, so yeah, the most important topic for electrical student is diode circuit. Diode circuit, you should completely prepare. Completely, you should prepare diode circuit. After diode circuit, after going towards the diode circuit, you can go to, from diode circuit, you can go to op-amp. After diode circuit, the most important topic is op-amp. Okay, so op-amp, you need to cover completely only positive feedback, negative feedback, Smith trigger, multi vibrators, uh, and adder subtractor, those negative feedback applic applications, then uh, integrator, differentiator, everything you need to cover. But there is... A slight portion of op -amp where MOSFET is also used. Like uh, when I teach op -amp, so first I will teach how, how we are making the op -amp from the 5T OTA. Then first we make the op -amp and then we go into that. So there I teach some of the analogy by the concept of feedback topology. Okay. Some of the circuit I explained by the concept of feedback topology in case of op -amp, but that is not, not required. So whatever, like whatever the part that requires MOSFET analysis, that part you can drop in op -amp. Okay, you just need to have simple idea of all the circuit, inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier, adder, subtractor, then you go to integrator, differentiator, known ILTs you, you can see. So those things you can see. So whatever the part that requires MOSFET part that you can drop in OPAM, it will be mostly, it will be of around one and uh, one, uh, one, uh, one hour or one and a half hour, not more than that. Okay. And OPAM completely will be of 25 hours, approximately 25 to 27 hours. So you can spend that much time and diode circuit will be around 18 hours. So you can spend that much time of uh, your preparation on that as well. Okay. So approximately around in 45 hours, you can cover diode circuit and OPAM completely. After that, MOSFETs. So till now in MOSFETs, there has been only three questions that, uh, that is asked in electrical. Only three questions till now. Three to four questions are only there. Now, what may happen, it may come in your, in your examination as well, in your shift as well. Like till now, only three questions has been asked. Last was asked in 2022 or 2023, I don't remember. But they can frame any day, any question they can frame. They can give the question in your shift as well. So you cannot ignore it. If you, if you don't have enough time, then you can ignore MOSFET and BJTs. Not BJTs, don't, don't ignore BJTs. You can ignore MOSFETs if you don't have enough time. But at least... If you have the time, then you can at least cover the basic biasing part and uh, small signal analysis. I will tell you from where you can cover. And in BJTs as well, you can cover the biasing part only. Only the biasing part. Like they will ask you the DC currents. They will not go into small signal analysis. Only the DC part they will ask. So let's see from where you can actually cover. Okay. So let's see for the diode circuit. So complete diode circuit is available. The very best diode circuit is available in this playlist on YouTube only. 1 to 15 lecture are there. This is my short short guarantee you would you would never have studied diode circuit in that manner. And I am very helpful that you have already studied network analysis from me on Prefusion. Then if you studied this diode circuit, you will have a different idea of how you can treat a diode circuit chapter. Okay. So I will highly recommend of going there. You can study from here from lecture 1 to 15. After that, you will not have to refer to any resources, anything else. Okay. So complete diode circuit can be covered from this playlist. Then talking about MOSFETs. So for MOSFETs, you can cover from lecture 20, 16 to 26 from that same playlist from lecture 16 to 26. You have to drop lecture 21. Why do I, why, why do you need to drop the lecture 21? When you see that lecture, you will understand. 
that lecture is very extensive those kind of questions are very very extensive and uh, those are not that much important for electrical student ec student will not drop that those kind of questions will certainly be coming in your upcoming examination for ec student i am telling but not for electrical student because those are fusion special assignment i gave that na name fusion special because i am i am sure that only those who are studying from pre fusion they will only be, be able to solve that particular assignment so yeah you may call it my arrogance or anything but yeah this is the belief i have on my content so you but electrical student can drop that particular assignment because it would be very extensive and it will take a lot of time and it is not that useful for electrical students okay so they can drop it but you can cover lecture 16 to 26 okay so these lectures i have completely shown these lectures you have you need to cover and then you need to watch these two videos that's it you need to watch this video where here i have told how to find mosfet impedance how to write the gain so amplifier problem you will be able to solve very quickly in the examination there is a certain way that i have told how to look at the circuit so you will find this video very helpful and some guys only followed this video and they scored four to five marks in ec question paper last year just because of this video because they asked the gain so you can ask uh, some toppers as well they have also followed this particular video so in this video you can check out how to find the gain how to write down the impedance so this video you need to watch and this is the current mirror that you need to study okay so that would be more than enough for electrical student much more than enough in most ways now in opams uh, these are the lectures first you can follow but opam is not completely available if you follow these lectures so then you will develop the basic idea of opam what is what do, what do we understand by opam what do we actually do in the circuit so you develop a basic idea after that what you can do i have the notes i have the complete notes i have i have uploaded it on on my linkedin as well or on my telegram group as well for all the chapter for diode circuit mosfets for every chapter i have uploaded the notes so i will again upload it on telegram channel on our telegram prep fusion channel you can go there and check out from there okay so from there you can cover also you can cover from the book as well i haven't given the name of book so let's go to the ec section so there i have put the book name so yeah this is the book for opam microelectronic circuit and analysis microelectronic circuit analysis and design by neiman okay so this book you can follow and the chapter you need to cover 13 14 and 15 that's it okay 13 14 and 15 these three chapters you need to cover from this book or i you will have the notes as well so you can study from the notes as well these notes you will have which I am going to upload in my telegram group only. So you can join there and from there you can access the notes. Okay. Neatly written notes are there. You can see as well. Everything is neatly written. You will be able to understand that if you have the good idea. Okay. Now for BJTs, I have uploaded the full notes already. Okay. I, I will again, again upload it. You can join my telegram group. So there I will again upload it. Now, but for BJTs, I can do something for you guys. I can bring a marathon on BJT. Okay. I'm thinking to bring a marathon on BJT. There I will cover the complete BJT, whatever that is required. But I have some demand from you, okay? Because I can put some demand because we are new in this field and not many aspirants know us. So from where we would be expecting? From you guys only, no? So I would expect you guys to share our channel. So look, currently we are having 7.5k subs. This is our current subscriber. So by the next weekend, by the next weekend, that means seven more days. 16 plus 7 more days so by 3rd august 3rd august by 3rd august i would be expecting in 7 days i can expect uh, i would be expecting 8.3k subs 8.3k to 8.5k subs if we get this target then certainly i am going to bring mosfet Mar uh, sorry bjt marathon otherwise I, I cannot bring right because i have already provided so much of thing on youtube only and i don't have that much of backend with me that so so I hope you understand, but if we get this much of support from your side, then certainly I can do something for you. I can bring BJT marathon. And if you don't, don't want to depend on the marathon as well, then you can certainly study from the notes or the, or from the same book, microelectronic circuit from the same book, you can study BJT as well. Whatever that is there in my notes, you can just match. Okay. This uh, thing is there in this particular book. So from here I can study because BJT is like, you shouldn't go that much deeper into BJT, but you cannot ignore it as well. So I can bring this marathon, but I need your support. Like at least uh, 200 aspirant would be benefited from it, right? EC, electrical, all those combined 200 aspirant, I am thinking. And from 200 aspirants, I am asking for 800 subscriber. So if one guy can give me four subscribers, then target would be completed. 
and you have seven days for that okay yeah so yeah that's it that, that's my demand from your side i hope you guys understand why i cannot provide it for free but if you guys are able to support us if you are if you guys are ready to support us then certainly i will be providing you this bjt marathon so that is more than enough for electrical student that's it okay and now for practice what you need to do you can refer pyqs not more nothing more than that it is required you can refer pyqs that's it so bj diode circuit i told you okay complete diode circuit then i told you about a mosfet how you can cover then i told you about op amp op amp you need to cover completely but the mosfet part you can drop and uh, bjt you need to cover mostly the biasing part and full notes are already provided and if you want the marathon on bjt then i can also bring but the subscriber is my demand okay yeah so that's it about the electrical students now we are moving towards ec electric sorry ec and instrumentation student so for both ec and instrumentation student it is very very important one of the most important subject for both of the guys okay for ec as well as for instrumentation as well and in instrumentation it is asked for sometimes 10, 10 to 12 marks as well if you see previous year uh, like instrumentation uh, question paper then you will see that the whole uh, whole like the whole question paper is filled with network analysis analog electronics control systems uh, signal systems approximately around 75 marks comes from the common part only 25 marks is there for the non core part and even in the non core part concept of analog electronics are used so like for instrumentation student analog electronics should be the most important subject and for ec it is one of the most important subject i would i wouldn't say the most important subject the most important subject for ec guys is emft okay but uh, one of the most important subject is analog electronics because if you have good idea of analog electronics and network analysis you will never be finding any difficulty in your whole electronics career career i am talking not just gate examination the career i am talking about once you go into mtech you will understand why i am saying all these things so yeah so now you it is very very important so you need to cover everything diode circuit mosfets op amp bjts so you need to cover everything now let's see how you can cover so these are the four major topic uh, and in bjts i have written you can skip amplifier if your time is less okay if time is less you can skip amplifier but i will tell you how you can cover it fastly as well so let's uh, talk about uh, diode circuit so complete diode circuit is there in these 15 lectures okay the level best diode circuit i have provided and once you watch three or four lectures you will realize what kind of content you are going to consume and this is my sure shot guarantee this is my full confidence on my content the kind of content i have provided so after this you will not have to refer to any resource that's my sure shot guarantee and you will just fall in love with analog electronics you will not have to mug up as very single thing and uh, a lot of misconceptions are there like uh, how you treat this circuit that circuit a lot of misconception are there and everything will be cleared here and you can see see the reviews in the comment section as well once you go to the uh, you you can go to this playlist and i'm i can guarantee you that you are not going to waste your time you will never after completing the playlist you will not feel that sir i have wasted my time nothing like that nothing like that will happen so from here you can cover diode circuit after that you don't need to refer to any resource so complete diode circuit is available so now after doing the diode circuit what kind of questions you should be able to solve okay like people like are not realizing what kind of questions they are setting the the kind of level they are putting up so it is going to change ekdam waise purana jo aa gaya ki clamper circuit hai seedha voltage up jayega fir 2 vm aa jayega output mein ye ho gaya peak detector aapka ye sab nahi aayega theek hai now they they are changing the level so these kind of circuit you should be able to solve that if they are asking the average current through the diode so how will you solve it so these kind of problems you should be able to solve there will be impulse current then you need to calculate the current through the capacitor how the capacitor will instantaneously charging then how the uh, how the impulse current is coming all kind of things you need to check and then you will be able to write down the current through the diode as well so these kind of things you will understand once you watch the playlist and not just the standard circuit you do, you always don't need to study the standard circuit this is a this is what this is voltage quadrupler okay from here you can get voltage doubler from here you can get voltage tripler and voltage quadrupler also it is so it's not that you will always be watching the standard circuit i know there is a standard circuit for voltage quadrupler but these kind these kind of circuit can also come any kind of circuit can come you just have the good idea of analysis so these kind of circuits you will be able to solve again voltage quadrupler again voltage quadrupler this can be used at voltage doubler as well voltage tripler as well and voltage quadrupler as well how it will be used how you write down the expression in a, in a second you will be able to solve this problem okay 
not in a second but in 10 seconds you will, you will be able to solve these kind of problems that in that much depth i have taught here okay so now let's move to the mosfet part so in mosfet part first you can cover the i haven't provided mosfet completely okay those who have already studied mosfet in from those mosfet marathon then it would be good but right now the complete mosfet is not available from my side and i'm really sorry i cannot provide the complete mosfet because i have the courses as well so you can study from the courses which i will be telling later on but first i now, now i am telling those who cannot afford any courses how they can cover so for those guys there are 16 to 26 lecture these 12, these 11 lectures are there you if you study from here you will actually actually develop the idea of mosfet at least you will develop the idea that how you can how you can approach in a problem that is asked from the mosfet how you can actually solve mosfet amplifier so that the idea you will develop at, at least okay that's my short short guarantee idea you will be developing after that whatever the topics are left so some amplifiers are left so you can go to the book by rajavi this is the book okay analog cmos integrated circuit so you need to cover like chapter 3.4 3.5 and 3.6 amplifiers part will be completed then you need to watch lecture 31 of my playlist that is on current mirror after that you can move to differential amplifier like chapter 4 and then you can move to frequency response chapter 6 these two chapters are not that important okay not that important but i am not saying it is not important at all who knows they frame two to three questions from these two ch chapters only but they are not that important are you understanding the word not that important because in last three to four years you you are not seeing any question from here so these are not that important so if you don't have that much of time you can skip it okay so this is about our differential amplifier and then frequency response from rajavi's book you can refer okay and full notes are also available in my telegram group only i will upload the full notes for diode circuit as well for complete analog electronics i will drop the full notes so you can refer to those, those notes as well while you are studying from the chapters okay so and this pdf you will easily get just write down design of analog cmos integrator circuit by behjad rajavi you will easily get the pdf on the very first link you will get it okay this this screenshot i have put from the pdf only so you on the very first page you will get it so no need to worry i i cannot send the pdf in my group because i can get copyright so i will not be sending the pdf in the group okay but directly if you write it on google you will be getting it now there is one more important topic in mosfet that is feedback topology and amplifier so that has been completely covered in our analog electronics only lecture 30 43 to 49 you will not have to refer to any other source so from 43 to 49 you can cover feedback topology and amplifier as well it is also not that important but it is important to understand op-amp. It is important to understand op-amp. Feedback topology, if you study feedback topology, then you will be easily able to understand the op-amp. Okay. So now here I have written as well, what is the most important chapter of MOSFET? Amplifiers. Amplifiers. You need to write down the gain. How, how do you see the gain? How do you see the input impedance? How do you see the output impedance? So these things you need to write down. So most important chap chapter is amplifiers. After that, all, all other topics are also important, but not that important. Okay. So what kind of questions you should be able to solve these kind of problems like mosfet connected with the capacitors the, this is having this much of initial voltage this is having this much of in, in, initial voltage steady state what will happen so biasing is not that like they will just ask you id versus vgs curve no, no this is not called biasing id versus vgs curve is edc but this is the circuit analysis that should that you should have so steady state analysis steady state voltage you can they can ask they can ask the waveforms as well so this kind of in-depth analysis is given from the YouTube only you will be able to get it okay and then after the amplifier part you should be able to see where is the current mirror how you can replace this kind of transistor why you can replace this kind of transistor and where you cannot replace this kind of transistor with the sing single resistance so these kind of that depth you should have and now these kind of amplifiers you should also be able to solve the write down the gain write down do the DC analysis now it is not that much difficult it seems like that it is a very big circuit how you will be able to solve it but within Two to three minutes you will be able to solve it and those who have studied network uh, those who have studied network analysis and analog electronics they can tell in in the comment section as well that how easily i have made them uh, how easily i have i have i have made these kind of circuits to them okay so certainly they will be writing down and uh, you, after watching the lectures you will be able to understand how to treat these kind of circuit in the examination okay so this is also one of the examples so these are simple only and why these are important i will also tell you why these circuits are important i will again tell you in the end of the video that why these circuits are important so yeah these are these are the examples now this is the example of current mirror so generally we solve the current mirror when where there is lambda equals to zero but it can happen that lambda is not equal to zero here channel length modulation is present so how will you solve the current mirror 
how much current it will take it will not take 100 micro ampere the current will not be copied the current will be more why it will be more when it will be less so these kind of concept also you should have when channel length modulation is present okay and now these kind of circuits are there where this kind of circuit is based on the mosfet only but it is a different device it's not necessary that they will give you bjt mosfet or diode only they can give you any different uh, device and then they, they can give you the characteristics i versus v they have given the characteristics and based on that you need to write down the voltage here so anything they, they, they could be asking in the examination it's not that you should be studying standard device if you are studying the standard device you should have the idea of that particular device that how that device is working and based on the working of device you can understand any other device this is just you need to find gm here and r note here and just the relation and then you will be able to draw the small signal model and you will be able to find the small signal voltage again so these are these kind of questions also we have solved so whatever that could be coming in your examination every th every single thing we have solved in this lecture playlist okay and yeah uh, like uh, in frequency response these kind of problems that uh, anyways we we always say that c1 c2 c2 values will be lesser but lesser than what and why it should be lesser lesser than and lesser than what voltage sorry lesser than what capacitance value we are we in frequency response we not lesser than sorry c1 c2 value should be large then why it should be large why coupling capacitor should be large and how much large they should be so this also we have taught it's not that it's like directly you can write write down that it is large but how much large it should be so these kind of questions can also be coming in your examination okay and this is from the differential amplifier part so not just a standard circuit it's not necessary that you need to always solve standard circuit of differential amplifier it's not necessary any kind of circuit they can they can be asking okay and this is also one of the example similarly such kind of questions are asked in gate 124 that was ota only but this is the structure of ota 5t ota so later on i will tell you from where they actu actually frame the problems okay later on in the last part of the video i will tell you where from where they are actually framing the uh, problem and this is the differential amplifier with active load or they call it operational transconductor amplifier as well so this is ota structure which i always used to teach when i used to teach analog electronics and this year the question was asked as well so these kind of in that analysis also you should you should be studying and this is just the final design of opam that we make and after this video we move to opam part so this is the internal structure of opam it is not tough it may seem like that it is very tough this is just just a current source the current is being copied this is the ota structure and then it is common source amplifier and then it is common train amplifier that's it so you will be able to understand everything about it every in branch, branch uh, in every branch what is the current everything you will be able to understand and this is the feedback topology so in feedback topology it's not that the current is being divided current mixing current sampling you should have an idea how current sampling is actually happening why it is happening what is the advantage of that so this also we have understood here okay and after that we will move to the opam part so in opam i have provided a few lectures only six lectures are there because you should have a good idea that how you can solve the opam lectures how you can solve the opam problems so first uh, six lecture you can watch from there it will cover the it will cover a lot of part from there and then you can follow the book by neiman this is the book by neiman okay microelectronic circuit analysis you have to cover these three chapters 13 14 or 15 first six lectures you can take as a reference because you should have an idea of opam if i haven't given any lecture of opam then you would not be able to understand from the book but if you watch this first six lecture then you will be understanding from the book as well okay it will not be that difficult it may it may be time consuming but it will not be that difficult that you are not going to understand the book it, it will not happen you will understand the book but some time consuming content can be there okay and also i will give the full notes as well full notes of the whole analog electronics so you don't need to worry you will have the notes as well okay and after going through through that part after going through that part from this book you need to watch these videos this video is actually a bit older uh, and integrator using opam this is a bit older but uh, this is what that is available so you can watch these videos here you will get that kind of analysis which you cannot find even in the books this is my short short guarantee that kind of analysis that i have given this is all upon me whatever that i have thought okay you will no, never find that in any book there are 10 books you can take but you will never find it in any book so and this question was asked in gate 2024 opam question nobody sold it and those who sold it forget about it so and there is a very critical point in this particular problem then uh, that point is even if your even if your output is saturated still the virtual concept short will be virtual concept will be valid virtual concept 
uh, virtual sort concept will be valid even if your output is saturated generally when output is saturated the concept is not valid why it is valid why the v negative node cannot go up or down why it will stay there so that was the most important point which everyone missed in this particular program so that i have explained here okay so these kind of uh, like in depth analysis you will be able to understand if you watch these videos so i will upload more videos as well more videos will come on opam that will help you uh, understanding opam better but first you should have a good idea from these books and from these lectures then only you will be able to understand these uh, these particular uh, examples and then you should have also a good idea just note that this is this looks like a standard differentiator circuit and it is not okay why it is not you will understand so these kind of i am just telling as a reference that what you should be able to understand after you complete the chapter you can watch this integrator video as well that this question was itself a wrong this question itself was wrong until the till 4 it was asked in gate 226 so it's been 18 to 20 years and someone is giving some answer someone is giving some answer with proper simulation i have proved it why it is wrong and what is the reasoning why it is wrong and how they can how they could have framed this question correctly so that also i have given so this also you can check okay and in whole analog electronics you will find a lot of things that has been wrong that has been solved wrongly and could be a better explanation not a better explanation could be there could be a correct explanation actually so yeah so that you will find in these videos also the views are not less but don't go don't run after the views watch the content first because we are just a small creator right now but it's not that we are behind of anyone in in terms of content we are behind in terms of subscriber but not in terms of content that's uh, that's the full confidence i have on my content and those who has watch me they also have the confidence yeah and these kind of questions you should be able to solve this is this is also a multivariate circuit only but not the standard one in standard circuit we always remember the answer what is the 2ln1 minus beta sorry not 2ln ln1 minus beta so it is 1 by 1 minus beta actually but yeah so those standard things will not work here so those standard formula will not work here okay so output will not be stable for this you will put the answer a but that will be wrong you have to analyze the circuit because we i have given the v gamma value here so these kind of equations you should be able to solve and generally every time we have to in uh, mopam part we are always told that uh, for negative feedback you should only always put a negative sign nothing like that that that's utter utter nonsense if you just put if, if you say that if if you need negative feedback you, you just have a neg you just need to have a negative sign nothing like that the sign of a1 what should be the sign of a1 v1 a2 v2 for the negative feedback in the circuit so that that there is a complete concept that in the negative feedback there should be 180 degree phase shift in positive feedback there should be 360 degree phase shift these things i am telling because people generally don't have idea how analog electronics should be studied okay i am not saying how it should be taught there are a lot of people who act as a god for analog electronics but yeah it should be studied in a better manner okay and uh, that you will realize watching those those lectures that how it should be studied because you are going into the ec part you are going into ec you are going into vlsi and vlsi is all about network analysis analog electronics control systems digital electronics and signals as system nothing else so there is a certain way of teaching those subjects and i know forget about it let's not talk about much yeah so yeah all these things you will be able to understand and then you can watch this video as well amazing problem on opam integrator so nothing no standard circuit is there okay and a lot of in depth analysis is there so that you will be able to understand and then for bjt it is not that important and to electrical guys also i have told that uh, full notes are already provided i have given the full notes if you want to refer any book then you can refer that same book neiman book the book by neiman okay microelectronics circuits and analysis you can refer the same book but if you want a marathon on bjt it will be completed in one day only if you want that so i have given the condition to electrical students as well because we are new and we also want our content to reach to larger audience i hope you guys understand and we cannot provide everything for free so i hope you guys understand this so what i demanded was so basically we are having 7.5k subs currently so in next till 3rd july till 3rd july in next 7 days right 4 5 6 7 yeah 7 to 8 days we are expecting we can get roughly around 8.32 to 8.32 8.5k subscriber okay so it will certainly help at least 200 students right it will certainly have at least 200 student and if one guy can help us getting four subscriber then we are just demanding 800 to 1000 subscriber so if you guys can share just you need to share it tell it to your batchmates tell it to some different telegram group that uh, once watch the content 
we are just asking you to watch the content we are not asking you to uh, buy any course just watch the content on youtube if you find it good for us if you find it good for you then you can certainly proceed with us otherwise there are other resources as well but just a share we are asking so that it may it may reach to the larger audience okay so yeah so if we complete the target and certainly i'm going to bring bjt marathon and if you want to if you don't want to depend on the marathon then you can certainly study from the notes as well i have provided the complete notes on telegram group the just the complete notes okay not the single thing is left so complete notes i have provided you can study from there as well and refer the book as well okay yeah so now let's talk about from where they are framing the problem so this is the problem from the npital assignment you can see problem from npital npital assignment okay and the same problem was asked in gate 2016 this was in gate 2016 exactly the same just the value of r1 r2 are changed okay i will give you a few examples same problem was i2 they are asking here and there here also what is the current through r2 this is what they are asking so the same thing they are asking from npital npital assignment this is one of the example there are at least 10 to 15 examples which i have checked that directly from the npital assignment questions are coming directly from there let's check more and npital assignments are freely available to everyone okay let's check this problem this was asked in gate 2020 gate 2014 sorry not gate 2014 gate 2024 the same circuit is there same oscillator circuit this concept is based on oscillator the same exactly the d2 circuit is there you can check okay right here they just ask the frequency of oscillation here they ask the transfer function so for, if you know the transfer function frequency of oscillation you can easily find just you need to put the denominator part real part of the denominator equals to zero so it was the same problem only let's check more examples now this question very yeah, like there is a very funny thing about it that i will tell you so this question was asked in gate 2024 only one of the finest problem of gate and there is the same problem is there in negative feedback they just have connected r2 and r1 that's it nothing new they are asking the small signal voltage gain in case of when there is feedback present initially when there was no feedback what was the gain that is given and when there is feedback present then what will be the gain here the gain would be 1 plus r2 by r1 because this is connected in the feedback yeah 1 plus r2 by r1 here the feedback is 1 only here the feedback is 1 only so gain would be a upon 1 plus a beta this would be the actually if you are considering the gain to be infinity open loop gain to be infinity but uh, here the gain is infinity or not yeah the open loop gain is infinity here actually but here it is it was not infinity so you have to put a upon 1 plus a beta and beta value would be 1 and a value is already given so very simple concept it was and yes <laughs> i suppose i watched the launch, launch video where someone was, was saying that he actually framed this question in 2020 by its own by his own this is what they were saying and it guys copied it but the actuality is the question he, he himself could have copied from npital and posted in the group and when the question was asked they are saying that iit's guys are copying us iit's and isc are copying us so that was a bit funny so if you frame something from somewhere then you should be giving credit to the actual person okay so yeah these kind of questions you can see from the npital directly so these are the npital assignment now what you will do you don't need to go to the npital and get the assignments so what i have done so all the npital assignments are there all the all analog electronics course because i have seen every analog electronics course on npital every single analog electronics course so all the analog electronics course are there from there i have got the npital assignment and made a separate pdf okay so every single question that is available on the npital assignment so for that i have made a separate video so that i can share in our telegram group okay so that i will be sharing in the telegram group but the thing is you don't need to solve each and every problem from there some problems are not relevant to the examination some problems are there because let's just say they are asking some problem from from ldos so low dropout oscillator you don't need to study so those problems you don't need to solve so that you will be understanding by your own once you watch the, those particular problems so not all problems are important okay and if you want to if you want like all these things i have told you can cover it on your own but if you want someone to do it by himself and then teach you so this is the concept this is the uh, course that i have made so just doing my own course promotion so i have put a lot of effort in this one watched a lot of npital lecture rajavi's lecture i have uh, watched 
and whatever that is relevant for you how the questions will be coming so those questions i showed you of mosfet amplifiers or and of uh, some questions on opam so some questions i have framed by my, myself i can take the whole responsibility those questions some questions have been framed by me and some questions i have got from npital and from other resources as well some i got from physics olympiad as well uh, so a lot of research i have done whatever that can be asked that is there in this course so 100 hour of content will be actual genuine content how analog electronics should be taught that is there and currently we are running a offer as well that is ae 10 so it would cost you 10% of you will get it would cost you somewhere around 2000 rupees so you can consider buying it if you want to buy but uh, the complete road map i have given how to approach analog electronics and if you want someone to do the all the hard work and teach you then certainly this is the course so i have referred all the resources and have taught in that manner so all the responsibility will be on me and it's not that you are just getting the lecture you will be added to the whatsapp group there are 150 students already and we cover every single doubt every single doubt and that too very immediately so i'm covering every single doubt also i conduct live session as well i come live and whatever that you ask that also i cover and regarding the interview guidance everything i give so yeah so that's it the, like those kind of things are there in this course so not doing enough promotion more promotion but yeah certainly something that is designed by me so i can do the promotion right so yeah so everything that i told in the road map so that much effort i have already put and designed this course so if you want to come if you can afford then you can certainly come but if you want to study from youtube you cannot afford then certainly you can study from youtube as well and generally if, if you want to see what kind of problems can be actually asked in the examination and what what do you actually mean by framing the problems by your own not just copying so you can refer to this uh, network analysis test series and this is completely freely available for now for now it is completely freely available what is the code the code is first 600 first 600 so for 600 students we have thought to give it completely for free so you can buy this network analysis test series and the level of problems you will see that i can like write it on paper that the those kind of levels you would never see and it's not that i am framing a lengthy problem just the calculation part what do i mean by advanced problem advanced problem means the solution will be of two line but it should click to you so those kind of problems i have given there and complete audio video solution of each and every single problem is there video solution not just the handwritten solution video solution is there of every single problem how to approach it that also i have given so if you want to study you can go there as well okay you can you can buy this test series as well and these are our other courses so not doing the promotion of everything engineering mathematics and aptitude for gate 126 aptitude for campus placement and gate and for 2025 as well it is there then analog electronics for gate is there and if you are preparing for analog vlsi jobs then for job as well it is also available some people will claim that you don't need to buy a separate course for uh, placements you can study a gate courses only so for those people i have just one problem so those guys who are going into mtech they must have studied from you they must have studied analog electronics for gate so why they are not able to get why every single guy is not able to get the placement they certainly have studied analog electronics for gate that's why they are doing the mtech in iits but then why they are not able to get so there is certainly a difference yeah there would be 10 guys 15 guys 20 guys who just study for analog electronics for gate and they got the placement i am not saying that if you if you study for gate only then you will be getting the placement but it is not certain okay well certainly is nowhere i i'm i also don't claim that if you study from here then you will also be getting the placement but there is much more higher chance and you will see what different is there okay what different efforts i have put so yeah just a reply to those guys those people who just said that you don't need to buy a separate course for placement so if you actually have given the interview by your own then you would realize uh, forget about it those are my teachers i don't want to say a lot of things but they are just uh, running behind me whatever that i do they just uh, okay so yeah these are our courses you can study so i hope you must have understood everything that uh, i have given in this complete uh, road map how you can cover how you can study what you need to cover how much you need to study okay then so yeah thank you very much happy learning